Good evening, everybody. Um, real quick, you know what? Two things do not go together at all. <laughs> Tequila and, uh, what was it called? Dunkin' Donuts s'mores ice caught s'mores. The act of becoming a s'more. Um, no, s'mores iced coffee. Terrible, terrible combination. I think last video I talked, let's, let me hit continue. Let me get into the game. But you know, I think just last time I just talked to you guys, I, uh, mentioned how I was chasing for the past few months moonshine with uh, kombucha, which I thought was quite a satanic act. Today I was chasing tequila with uh, iced coffee. So I continue to be on my bullshit. Let's play this game. I, again, don't remember what's happening. I wasn't planning on letting up, but oh, she wants me to sh show evidence. You know, I do remember what's happening here. She wants me to show evidence. She's at her weakest now, so this is our chance. Yeah, if we had a weapon to hit her with. Um, that's not nice. I'm sure the weapon is hiding somewhere in the court record. <laughs> I don't want to remember that. I, like, don't... If it's this again, I'll scream. Okay. So, oh god, I ain't got no health. I don't remember too clear because I was a bit dazed. Does anything go against her being dazed? I'm just gonna assume no. Okay. I suppose I must have opened the guitar case after I knocked the vase over. Didn't I already present this and tell you that you're a fucking liar? Please don't yell at me. Please tell me this is the right evidence. There is no way you were the one who opened the guitar case. Why would you say that? It's elementary, my dear. I hate that. I hate that. But Phoenix, you do be looking fine. You do be looking hot. What's that pin on your lapel? Is the lapel like the collar of your jacket? I don't actually know what the lapel is. You guys, let me know if you know what a lapel is. Um, I like that little gold thing on your... Is that his badge? It's so tiny. I don't know. It's like a little gold nipple on his collar. I don't know. Phoenix Wright, I want you to fuck me is what I'm trying to say. It's elementary, my dear. Regardless of your dumbass phrasing. Because the only fingerprint... Did I get this right? Not me being a genius. Not me being drunk off of... Dunkin' Donuts s'mores iced coffee? Grow the fuck up, sir. You are 30. <laughs> you drinking tequila and iced coffee when you're 30. Also, I thought the iced coffee, I was, I grabbed that instead of, like, m one of the many thousand other drinks in my fridge because I collect liquids for no fucking reason. Uh, because I, if you're here for the game, click off now. I'm talking. But, uh... Whoever is honking the car outside, please kill yourself. But don't, 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 don't. I don't wish ill upon others because I don't want others to wish ill upon me. But the only thing I put on. Oh, but the iced coffee is like 200 milligrams of fucking caffeine. No fucking thanks. But here I am drinking it. Okay. Victim, victim, victim. <gasps> She's stunned. Hand on chest. Weave down to her butt. What is it, Miss Andrews? No, Lipsies. You shouldn't assume that I must have left. You shouldn't assume that I must have left Prince just because I touched the case. What do you mean? What if I were to tell you that I was wearing gloves at the time? Like a freak? Why would you have been wearing gloves? Where are you going out? Gloves are very, I murdered my husband. So did you murder your husband or did you murder Juan Carita? Gloves? But why would you be wearing gloves at the time? It was the night of the award. Oh, she's getting us putting on the Ritz, as I said in my Metopia playthrough. She's putting all the riots. So, of course, I dressed up for the occasion. Yes, now I remember. I almost... I'm almost sure I was wearing a pair of thin gloves. Hmm. I see. Well, That's not his voice. <laughs> That's strange. It's 2021. Gloves are fucking for freaks. You're wearing gloves. Isn't that a little strange? Why is that strange? Do you have something that would prove I was not wearing gloves at the time? I sure hope so. Picture taken in the hallway right after the murder. That's not going to do it. Mm, on guard fingerprints. Autopsy report. Attempted suicide. Suicide. Button. Crime photo. Let's see this. Oh. Weren't her fingerprint fingerprints? Weren't her fingerprints on the, uh... V8 in a wine glass? Exactly. You guys, I'm a genius. Okay, so I have your proof right here. This fucking V8 in a wine glass that we get. Is this a Bud Light Shalotta? Ma'am, is this a Bud Light Shalala? Huh? 
Adrian Andrews, is this is this actually? I know I've gone on and on about this V8 in a wine glass, but is this a Bud Light gelada? <laughs> Let me know, because if this is a Bud Light gelada in a wine glass, you know what? It's not as evil as the V8 in a wine glass. V8 in a wine glass, go to jail. Bud Light gelada in a wine glass, I think you're an innovator. I can fuck with that. Adrian Andrews, this right here determines how much I fucking respect you. Is this Bud Light Chalada in a wine glass? But you know what? Maybe, what does it say about me as a person that I think Bud Light Chalada in a wine glass is just the most chef's kiss meatball meatball thing a person can do? What does chef's kiss meatball meatball mean? What am I ever saying? Let's move forward in the game. The wine glass. You left your fingerprints very clearly on this wine glass. Oh boy, she's sweating bullets. Ah, I like her pink moleskin fucking right there. Even if you took your gloves off when you poured yourself this glass of juice, wouldn't you think it was just a little strange? Slam. That you put your gloves back on just to open the <laughs> guitar case. I popped that B and gloves back real hard oh oh her glass oh she's got another pair that's good we love a prepared legend <laughs> she ain't got no ass adrian andrews where's your ass hmm hmm order 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 looks like you hit the nail on the head this time yeah because i'm a fucking legend of a lawyer legendary lawyer what do you mean I believe that guitar case plays a very important role here. Is there a body in it? No, it's empty. No, we know it. We know there's not a body in it. I, also, there's not a missing body. We're not looking for a body. Also, we've gotten into the guitar case and there's not a body there. <laughs> My brain just says, oh, body? Jesus Christ, Maya's boobs. Mia, Mia's boobs. Boobies, Maya, boobies. 18 boobies. Okay, no barely legal boobies. Not for you. Why don't you grow a healthy attraction to adult women? My dad at me. <laughs> no, my dad's very cool, kind, and accepting, and we love him, but that's funny. But it's just an empty case. I wonder if it really was empty. Is there a body in it? But but the guitar, the bright red guitar was at the studio. Phoenix, drop all of your presumptions. What was in the guitar case was not the bright red guitar. You don't mean. It was a bright white guitar? Wait, that's not right either. Hmm. I admit it would be unnatural for someone to do that. So your witness was not willing. This is the the voice I gave that fake doctor at the hottie clinic. Shout out to any of my friends who saw the hottie clinic episode. None of y'all did. None of y'all watching this. And you know what? I appreciate that. Don't give me your attention because the minute I know eyes are on me or the minute is the minute I'm no longer free. The minute I feel like I have somebody to entertain is the minute I'm unable to entertain. That's just how it is. But as of right now, because I know nobody's watching, I'm funny as shit. I'm having a blast. These videos are so fun. And the bots that watch them and the bots that leave comments. Hey, girl. Beep boop. 1001. LOL, bitch. We laughing. We binary and I'm going to fuck her lately because I go through phases of what type of like anime boys I'm into, like with anime porn. Lately, I've been real into, first of all, everybody. Any anime boy can just about damn near get it. But I've been real into robots. I love robots. Fuck me, robots. If you're a robot, comment on this about how much you want to fuck me. Okay. And I don't want to fuck you. Because usually when I talk about getting fucked, I'd be talking about I'll fuck you too. Mm-mm. Robot tops only. You know what I'm saying? Dreidel, dreidel. That's a top, and you should be too. Beep, boop, robot, fuck me. So the, so the witness was not wearing gloves, despite the fact that on the case... Your Honor, this is obviously the defense's usual misdirection. I'm going to fight you, Miles Edgeworth. I'm going to fight you in your giant earlobes. Misdirection tactic, it'll work. Steer the court, turn an unrelated topic, and lull us all into his misguided... Leave me alone. My fingernails are clean. No, Your Honor, please recall that Miss Andrews had testicled that the vase fell onto the guitar case, quote-unquote. 
which means that the case was closed, case closed, when the crime took place. I'm tired of looking at this dead man, okay? Stop showing me murder. <laughs> Not me taking on a murder case and complaining about the amount of murder. <laughs> Please, sir, no more murder. However, it is wide open in this photo of the crime scene. Bust it open, sis. I don't like that I said sis. If I could beep out me saying sis, that'd be so funny. See, I beep it out, but don't. I'm not going to go in and edit this video. I've Ever since my Animal Crossing playthrough, go watch it. It's relaxing. It's the opposite of this playthrough. I speak calmly. I don't talk about wanting to get fucked by robots. So if you're like, you know what? I love his Phoenix Riot playthrough, but I just wish he'd shut up. Um, then you'd have no reason to like this playthrough. But uh, go watch my Animal Crossing playthrough. But uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, bust it open? I don't know. I love the ya get into a girl. It's an old meme, ya get into it. That girl, I used to know her name. I don't remember her name anymore. She's very interesting. She has a very interesting life story. I think she's really cool. I like her a lot. I'm sure this guitar case has some relation to the murder. Ya get into it sounds like Ariana Grande, but the, you know what I'm talking about? The girl with the, the high ponytail. She looks almost like she could be a ginger sometimes, but she's like an albino. She is like black and whatever she's very interesting very oh, i think she's quite charming if you are so sure right then i'm sure you can somehow substanti substantiate bitch sir i was just talking about bud light chilada do you think i know what the word substantiate means <laughs> i do I'm, I'm quite educated i'm also quite intelligent and well read i am sia i'm an artist and my mother's an artist and i come from good <laughs> Good chewing stock. <laughs> I should say good pedigree. Oh, boy. All right. What is chewing stock? Why do I want to say I'm from good chewing stock? What does that mean? Then I'm sure you can summon this in you. Outrageous claim. Cra oh, boy. Don't make me present evidence. Not to your ruffled collar ass. Please enlighten us as to why that guitar case has anything at all to do with this murder. Um, can you, you yeah, make it right? Well, let's suppose. This, sir, this is a court. We supposing? How about we proven? How about, why are we supposing in the courtroom? I have an idea. I have a theory. No, bitch, not a theory. Theories bar barely work in science. This is life or death throwing somebody in the brig. Let's have some evidence. Suppose. Bitch. But let's suppose for a second that the bright red guitar was not the only thing that could have been in the case. The bright red guitar not being the only thing? Usually I cut out my burps, but uh, the game was moving when he objected. So I'm just gonna mute the audio there. So if you notice muted audio there, it's because I burped and I didn't want to cut the video completely. So you and you put your two in, yeah, yeah, when you're empty, yeah, 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 That's not his voice, sorry. I wouldn't say something I didn't intend to prove. Deflate that head of yours. You haven't proven anything yet. Now then, let's have it. What was inside the ca- Oh, boy, at the time of the murder. Uh, is Mr. Karita's body an option? No. I ain't got no fucking clue. Let me look at this and think about it. At the time of the- It looks pretty damn near empty at the time of the murder. Um, oh boy, you know what, I very genuinely, I'm going to be honest with you guys, in all my previous videos, every time I had to Google something, which was not that often, can I just say, it's not that often, I was going to say pretty impressive, right, but no, I've done a pretty terrible job in this playthrough, so pretty fucking believable, but I'm, I am going to Google this right now. Oh, I didn't bring my phone out here. I'm recording audio on my computer. I'm going to Google this on my Microsoft Surface book. And because my Microsoft Surface Duo is in my bedroom, so I'm going to do it on my Microsoft Surface book. <laughs> Paid for by Microsoft. The original, the, your one and only supplier of technology to the U.S. government. Okay, one moment while I Google this, because... I don't have the brain capacity nor, nor the fucking health to fucking fuck this up right now. 
Um, how to walk through dual destinies? What is the justice for all? Okay, so Google says to present either the Seal Samurai or Lada. Do I understand at all where that's going, even with it walking me to it? No. But I'm gonna present Lada because I I think we should all remember Lada. Lada Heart, gone but not forgotten. Also not gone, not gone, not forgotten. Lada, forever alive in our hearts and on our planet. All right, Lada Heart, take that. And why would something like that be inside a guitar case? Let alone why would Lada Heart be inside the guitar? Wait. A lot of hearts not inside the guitar case, is she? She better not be. She really trying to sneak that photo. Why, Mr. Wright? Why? I just thought it might have been possible. Am I about to fucking lose my last bit of health? Oh boy! Did the walkthrough lead me awry, astray, a miss? I have a suggestion. Why don't you put that in the void where your brain is supposed to be? <gasps> I did something wrong. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, my health is so low. <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> Not me following a walkthrough and still getting it wrong. <gasps> jail. I need to go to jail. Whoever wrote this walkthrough, go to jail. Except for don't. Because I'm sure I read it wrong. Um, I'm foolishly foolish. Do you know they can prove your theory? I don't fucking know. Can you prove that the guitar case was not empty at the time? No. I wouldn't say something I didn't intend to prove. Deflate that head of yours. You haven't proven anything yet. Okay, um, now then, let's have it. What was inside? <laughs> Good fucking question. I'm so confused. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I was right. I don't blame the person who wrote the, wrote the walk through. I presented Lotta Hart. I was supposed to present Lotta's photo. So, I was overzealous. Some may even say eager to uh, remember Lotta Heart. The uh, still alive Lotta Heart. But uh, it's actually Lotta's photo I'm supposed to present. I apologize. Moving forward. Take that, you Weenie Hut Jr. fuck. Not me saying Weenie Hut Jr. fuck. Th this is a photo of Yes, but what is important is what is in that picture. I forgot what's in that picture. I still don't know where this is going, Your Honor. In this picture! It doesn't take a genius to see what I mean. What I am proposing is... slam a damn damn Inside the guitar case was the nickel... Hmm? The nickel samurai? I thought he got murdered. The hero... Oh, the costume. The hero's very own costume. Who? What? Beautiful from behind that Adrian Andrews. M and from the front. Oh, God, who am I kidding? M Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Right, are you saying that the witness opened the guitar case to take out a costume? What insane point would there be in doing something like that? That insane point would be to wear the costume, of course. I'm following at this point, I guess. Miss An <laughs> just letting you know. Miss Andrews put it on to hide her identity so that she could make her escape. After all, you could Azalea Bank escapades. What a bop. Azalea Banks, a legend, an icon, a genius ahead of her time. And that's all I have to say. All I have to say is I will forever be on the side of Azalea Banks. Top three smartest people in contemporary music, Azalea Banks, Faka Twigs, Janelle Monet. Just saying. It's whatever. After all, you couldn't let anyone see. Uh, you know, I think Porter Robinson's pretty fucking smart, too. Whatever. You couldn't let anyone see you leave, could you, Miss Andrews? <clears throat> uh, I refuse to accept your theory. Do you have anything to su- mm, I hope so. Support such a preposterous idea. Just outside the door was an investigative photographer who was starving for a big scoop. And in the end, she managed to get this shot, correct? You! You mean your photo? The Arianka ponytail. Yes, Arianka Samurai. Samurai-anka. Order, order. Don't act like you can control this courtroom because you can't. You can barely control your bowels, geriatric judge. Get the fuck out of here with your false sense of assertion. You control nothing other than my boner. What if I was like really into the judge? <laughs> like, let me come on that old Mr. Clean head. It looks like we've wandered into quite another mess again, haven't we? Nice job, Phoenix. Well, 
Oh, well, you know my strategy. F speak first, think later. Boy, is that me and Phoenix so interesting because I feel like on paper we're so different, but we do be saying the same things. I said doobie. Eh. The Doobie Brothers. What's that about? But what are the Doobie Brothers all about? What are the Beach Boys? What is a Beatles? Ew. You know what I'm saying? Like, ew. I'm over it, all of that. Speak first, think later. I agree, Phoenix. You're a genius. <laughs> so the real Mandalorian was hiding inside of a costume. Oh, who's a what? Wait one second, Your Honor. The Nickel Samurai's costume would have been Mr. Matt and Guards. Why would something off the defendants, something of the defendants, I can't fucking read. Something of the defendants be in the victim's room. Be right back. I'm going to go take a shot, but my shot is in the other room, and my drink is in the freezer, because I wanted to get, to get nice and icy and chunky. You know when you, like, put, like, uh, something in the freezer, and you can, like, maybe this is just a gif only I have. Gift, not gif. People that say gif for the .gif uh, file extension, <laughs> off yourself. I don't care if it's correct or not. But uh, what is that JFIF? This, I know it's just a JPEG re. re it's, it's, it's a JPEG. But uh, when did we start using JFIF? Every time I save anime porn off of Twitter, it's like dot JFIF. I'm like, I guess. But uh, everything handles it just fine, so no big issue. Be back. Let me go get that shot. But yeah, you know when you put a drink in the freezer and you're real good at controlling like exactly what time to take it out so that when you shake it, it turns into like a slurshy. I've got that skill, and I'm gonna go shake up my ass coffee, and it's gonna be all slurshy, and I'm gonna take a shot of uh, tequila with my ass coffee, and I'm gonna be like, mm, terrible decision, and then I'll be right back. So one moment. I don't need to whistle as much as I do, but here I am whistling as much as I do. No, all right, let's get into the game. Something is vibrating outside my window. I hear shaking. It must be the girls shaking their boots because I'm coming for their fucking wig. I don't know. What are the girls? What are the gays? What do we? What does anybody say? You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm, let me take this shot. I literally just poured alcohol and I was like, LOL. Let me just get back to my game. No, let me get back to my tequila in my ass coffee because I'm a fucking heathen. Wow, that was a terrible decision. I hated that. This s'mores Dunkin' Donut iced coffee tastes like Cocoa Pebbles leftover milk. I have not had Cocoa Pebbles in 100 years. One, because I'm not allowed to basically eat cereal at this point in my life. I'm not allowed to have sugar at this point. My, says me drinking the sugary drink. I'm not really allowed to have sugar at this point in my life. And I'm also lactose intolerant. So I lack the toast for tolerance. And uh, cereal is one of the best foods on this planet. Let's get into the game. Oh, it's under me in the name of the room. And inside the guitar case of all places. <laughs> True. That is a little baffling. Mr. Wright, the court would like to hear your thoughts. Oh, God, let me save. Please, let me save. Thank you, I'm on my last bit of health and I'm nervous. Okay. What was this nickel Samar costume? Uh, it was stolen. It was a spare. It was stolen. It was a spare. It was stolen. It was a spare. How am I supposed to fucking know? It was stolen. What is vibrating? I hope y'all can't hear that vibrating sound, because if you can't, it's going to fuck up my audio. I think it may have been stolen from Madame Guard. Stolen? But why would someone do such a thing? Maybe the thief wanted to interfere with the post-ceremony stage show. Hmm. <laughs> and so, if he didn't have his costume, then Madame Guard would be, f would be forced to go naked. Don't object to nudity, my friend. We're just getting into the good stuff. I've been waiting for this game to turn into Yaoi for five fucking months. So please allow me this, Edgeworth. Maybe you should be stripped. Oh, it's all getting naked, except for the judge. Judge, you stay in that. What if he's naked under the robe? No, not it. Any penis is a good penis. I am a slut. <laughs> Not me having a fucking epiphany. Okay, maybe maybe you should be stripped naked and run out for making a mockery of this court. Let's try it. I don't know. Excuse me? Mr. Matlingard did not take his costume. Great, so I got it wrong off after the awards ceremony. 
Ooh, he does look nice. He even testified that he took a nap while still wearing his costume. I forgot that Ungard's kind of handsome. Is this not correct? Please don't take my health. You're gonna take my health. I'm gonna cry. Ay! Okay, and yeah, he did say something like that, didn't he? Well, then fuck a plat fuck a tutinous, platitudinous, press the digitation. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Gucci, guilty. I've been declared Gucci, guilty. So let's. The accused will surrender to the court immediately. No, he will not. He, he looks great from behind, too. Everybody in this game looks great from behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's that thing people say? Like, uh, hate to see you go, or what, love to watch you leave, or whatever. Adrian Andrews? Yes. Mountain Guard? Yes. Everybody else that I don't remember? Sure. Okay. So let me load this back up, and let me see if I can stop this vibrating sound, in case you guys can hear it. Do y'all hear that? Haha, <laughs> I could fix the vibrating sound, and I did, because I'm a fucking proper craftsman. <clears throat> Not me being a dad. Okay, what was this nickel set? I love fixing shit. Can I just say, I'm at, I've am i reached an age in my life where I'm tired of not knowing things, and whenever something breaks and I have my father fix it, I'm like watching him fix it. I'm like, please explain it to me. Whereas when I was younger, I was just like, ugh, I don't care, just fix it, or like, tell me where I can go to get it fixed. Because I'm not entitled. I don't expect people to fix things for me. But, uh, I front and I'm like, I'm tired of not knowing things. Teach me how to fix this. Teach me how to, like, fucking, like, tie up my own line. Teach me how to fix my fucking reel when I fucking cast and it gets all strung, like, bird nesty. Teach me how to fix my car. I'm tired of not knowing things. I want to be a fucking impressive dude. Who knows this fucking shit, you know what I'm saying? And the last kid I dated, younger than me, and knew all these things. And I was like, hmm, I'm really into that about you. And as a gay person, I think we kind of struggle to, like, put this distinction between, like, what we're attracted to and what we want to be and those lines can kind of get blended sometimes i've like to think i've got a pretty good grasp on it at this point in my life but that's one of those things i'm both attracted to and want to be is comfortable in the things that i need to get done and knowing how to do it and yeah I just being knowledgeable is a great thing go learn something today go next time you ask your dad to help you with something watch him do it learn it I think you'll feel real good about yourself. Moving forward. <laughs> it was a spare costume. Obviously, I know this, you know this, we all know this. Who would ever fucking think otherwise? Mr. On Guard did not take his costume off during the break period. Though he should have, and he should have fucked my ass! In that case, the costume we were talking about was a spare one. What? Then... Are you saying that on the night of the murder, that there were two Nico Samurai costumes at the Gainwood Union? I very much am. Yes, that is what I'm saying. And how do you explain the costume that was inside the costume that came out very odd? Costume <laughs> that was inside the guitar case. Quit slamming your hand out, Edgeworth. You're gonna hurt your soft, sensitive little palms. It would mean that the victim himself had brought this spare to this ceremony on purpose. Adrian Andrews from behind. But, but why? The victim, Mr. Corita, was... A jamming and Kool-Aid jammer. Oh, yeah! <laughs> why he bust the walls and do that? Sir, you are causing hundreds, if not thousands of dollars and in damage, and I don't have home insurance. Get out of my house, you Kool-Aid bitch. You're also gonna spill and cause water damage. And then the sugar, sugar warps shit. If you get sugar on, I dare y'all, y'all go pour some sugar on your counter and just keep pouring it there every day. Watch your counter fucking warp underneath that sugar because it sucks, whatever. The Kool-Aid, the Kool-Aid jammer, what's his name? The Kool-Aid mascot that, look, a giant picture of Kool-Aid with a face jumping through your wall. That's a terrorist. We glamorize terrorism. We cause 9-11 by letting the Kool-Aid man go a little too far. We kept stretching our limits with him. 9-11. Is that insensitive? One, a lot of time has passed since 9-11. Two, I'm clearly kidding. Three, Kool-Aid guy did 9-11? Question mark? Hmm? Okay, <laughs> Victor Mr. Kurt was the challenger. 
why would he why would he secretly bring the nickel samurai spare costume with him? What could be the reason behind such a peculiar act? Ellipses. And therein lies the sticking point. I, I mean, Phoenix Wright is so cute when he's like boyish like this. Not me being attracted to children. No, I'm not. But like the boyishness, sometimes boyishness in a man is attractive. And it doesn't mean you're into boys. It means you're into men. What am I defending? I think if I have to defend myself against the idea of being into boys, then that's concerning in and of itself. So let me stop he myself here now. Don't listen to this part of the video, and don't don't assume that I like boys. See, uh, what am I? You set yourself up for some dumb shit. I'm dumb as fuck. <laughs> Therein lies the sticking point. Oh, what? What are you mumbling about to yourself now? His eyes look crazy. Edgeworth, you need to take a fucking break. You look nuts. Your pupils are vibrating. That's how my pupils feel when I had a breath mint in my mouth and I drank an energy drink. <laughs> I felt like my pupils were vibrating. Or sometimes I like bite into like a sugary thing, which I don't get a lot of sugar these days. It truly is a shame. But when I do, I feel my teeth fucking vibrate because a bitch has a hundred cavities, I'm sure. Have you just been have you just been rambling all this time without any sense of inner monologue? My inner monologue is out. I have outer monologue, so I suppose I don't have an inner monologue. Oh, no, I just Mr. Wright, please explain yourself. Why do you think that I can't be consistent with the voices? Hate to tell you. Why do you think the victim had the nickel samurai spare costume? Phoenix, are you sure you can explain this one? Think care Oh fuck, let me save. Let me save. Because she said think carefully, and I know damn well I can't do that. So we're going to take us a few tries here before you answer, and the, then answer with gusto. I believe in you. All right. I ain't got no health. <laughs> this is what I think. The reason the victim brought the Nickel Samurai spare costume to the hotel was to commit a murder, right? Like to hide, to commit a murder, like um, bitch, to commit a murder. That's that's really vague. I do need evidence. Um, um, what's this? Oh. So, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was about to play it off like I didn't look at a walkthrough, but I did. I present. I consulted that same walkthrough I just looked at, and it said present this. Apparently, this is why he would have two costumes, one for the post ceremony show. But why can't he just wear the one costume? I don't know. But walkthrough said this. After this, after I present this, we'll stop with the walkthrough because I feel like it ruins the spontaneity of the game and. You know, I like fucking up and, you know, don't worry, we'll go back to me fucking up. What is this? On the night of the murder, after the stage show, the Nickel Samurai was going to hold a special press conference. A press conference? Yes, the Nickel Samurai was supposed to confess something at this conference. I heard about this as well. For once, you're not making something up, right? But what struck me as strange was that Mr. Ungard himself said he had no idea what he was supposed to be holding a press conference that night. Had no idea he was. I don't know why I added some of those words in there. Should I take another shot? No. See us stop. Stop it. No, not another shot. How about you just finish up this video? Okay. Great idea, Sia. Are we ever going to finish this trial? It truly is dragging on. Not dragging on. It's, it's fun. It truly is continuing. Ellipses. But how can that be? The way I see it, that can only mean one thing. The conference was set up. Well, <laughs> it has to be set up. But, oh, by none <laughs> other than the victim. Mr. Juan Corita himself. The victim? Yes. The spare nickel samurai costume was prepared for that very conference. Oh, Mr. Corita was going to hold the press conference as the nickel samurai? <gasps> way out. Oh my god, Mr. Wait, wait, wait. When you get... Rewind, see ya? Rewind right there, and look at fucking, uh, Edgeworth's ass. Look at Edge Edgeworth's ass right here. Why he got so such a pert fucking dumper on him? What is this? 
But why would the victim do such a thing? That's something I don't quite know yet. However, what I am concerned with right now is what he intended to reveal at that conference. The Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. And by confess, I'd rather he wager he was going to reveal something about quote-unquote himself. Which means that Juan Carita, posing as the Nickel Samurai, hand slam was going to... Hand, not ham. Y'all ever be slamming your ham? Slamming your ham, to me, sounds like another euphemism for beating off. And I, I do be slamming that ham. Oh, boy. I, sometimes I slam my ham on Discord with my man. <gasps> slamming the ham with my man. Okay. <laughs> Go to jail, Sia. Go to jail. What are you ever fucking talking about? I was going to speak about Matt on guard. Yes, I guess that is what it would mean. But if that's the case... That's not a confession. That's public dis... Mm, this is becoming quite a bit pedantic, don't you think, Edgeworth? Like, uh, a public disclosure and a confession kind of, like, fall within the same thing. They're very similar definitions. Oh, God, the court's in a hubbub. Edgeworth has his dumper out, and Adrian Andrews is flipping her card. <laughs> Miss Andrews? I can see why you are pros at what you do. Pardon me? Yes, just as you say. The press conference was set up by Juan. <gasps> more hubbub, more Edgeworth dumper. Miss Andrews, please offer us an explanation for this. I'm gonna stop the video here because we reached 40 minutes about four minutes ago. So I'm gonna save. Yoink, yoink, yes. Yoink, yoink. See you next time. Um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Bye. <laughs>